Hi, I'm Ricky Young with your daily government update. Well, the situation in northern Iraq is of concern all around the world, but especially in East County, San Diego, where we have a large Iraqi uh, community. Here to tell us what's going on and what they're hoping to do about it is Michael Smolin's government editor. Ricky, uh, one of the leaders of the Chaldean community in San Diego, which is about 70,000 strong, Mark Arabo, he's a he's a sort of a head of a small business organization. He's in Washington as we speak. He's meeting with administrative officials, uh, State Department officials, and members of Congress to try to get some relief for these folks. Uh, there's probably limited things the U.S. can do, but what he's looking for is uh, um, some executive action from the president to ease asylum rules for, for these uh, Christians who are being persecuted, you know, if not killed, um, and also some humanitarian efforts uh, to, to get a, 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 a diplomat in charge of that particular situation whose sole responsibility would be to help them would work with other governments. Does the State Department have any numbers on uh, what, you know, exactly what the situation is on the ground there? Well, in, in Mosul, uh, I think that there were 200,000, the two key cities are, uh, as you mentioned, northern Iraq, Mosul and, and Tikrit. And in Mosul, there were like 35,000 uh, Christians that living in that city estimated. That's down from, you know, a couple hundred thousand years ago. Wow. Some are suggesting that they just aren't even there anymore. People have been killed. Most have, have fled. Uh, their choices are pretty grim. They had to pay a hu huge tax, convert to Islam, or be killed, basically, were their choices. So, And th this is being done by this group with the different uh, ISIS or the Islamic yeah, Nation? It, it's or? called the Islamic State, or that's what they're calling yeah. themselves now. But as you recall, that they sort of emanated or came out of the whole Syrian conflict, and they're really gaining strength there. Now, there's been some recent reports that some of the people in Mosul had been trying to defend themselves, particularly to defend some of the religious uh, uh, institutions that have been torn down, bombed by the terrorists. Uh, it's not just the Christian uh, uh, icons, but also some of the Muslim ones that they are they have been attacking. So, you know, whether the tide's turning, it's hard to tell. Uh, probably not. But what was interesting when these folks came in. They were initially welcomed by a lot of the uh, Muslim population because they felt b that they were being besieged by the Iraqi army. That's changed, obviously. All right. Well, uh, I know you'll keep us informed about how things go in Washington on this trip to uh, uh, advocate for uh, the people and doing something about it. Uh, thanks for coming on, Michael, and thank you for watching.